I've been getting asked this question a lot, just like Paul Thompson here asked what's the better to stock up on, English 151 booster boxes or Japanese, and we're going to dive straight into this and we're going to address a few things first. Starting off, if you're not familiar, there is no English booster box. There's just booster bundles, ETBs, and UPCs, and other miscellaneous box products, so there's no, there's no actual booster box. However, we're just going to take this as what would I be loading up on right now, English or Japanese? And we're going to talk about uh, the reprint, restock. I'm gonna, we're going to talk about all of it uh, real quick. But first, we are just going to jump straight into. Uh, we're going to look at the Japanese side first. And if you guys aren't familiar, I have this is Sneaker Dunk. Uh, this is a Japanese reselling website that uh, people in Japan. Uh, they're a third party essentially so the person who has the boxes ships them to sneaker dunk sneaker dunk authenticates it and then ships it to you the buyer and i have purchased from sneaker dunk many times now and i have had no issues with anything uh being fake or messed up or anything um so i'm vouching for them just because i have spent my money on uh through them they are not paying me i have no affiliation with them i just have used their service and I've had good results. Now, what I, I, I've touched on this in past videos, right? 10 boxes on here is usually somewhere around the best price. And I'm going to, we're going to dive into that. And it's not $60 and 60 cents per box because there is shipping fee and everything. And trust me, I'm going to get to the, I'm going to get to the main uh, question at hand here. I, just give me a second. But so 10 boxes would be $66.50 per box shipped to your door. Uh, this is, I'm in California, so the shipping may vary depending on where you are. My shipping fee is $38, and then there's a duty and tax at 21. So that's what brings it up for 10 boxes, $66. Now, if you go over to the old eBay, uh, these are selling for, like, here's a re reputable seller. Catch them all collectibles, as far as I know. Very reputable seller, uh, 329 sold. 99.8% positive feedback. They're selling for $78, $79 currently. Um, there are some listed on here a little bit less. Um, I can't vouch for them. Just This is just a, uh, a seller that popped out to me. So you could be buying these for $78 plus tax, or you could get these for $66. Now, once again, I, I would do sneaker dunk. Right. If you're talking about loading up, I, I'm assuming you're not talking about one or two booster boxes. So that's why I would think 10, at least 10 plus, um, and you have to order that amount to make it worth it. Otherwise the shipping and the import fee and all that is not going to be worth it. Now let's talk about English. So the, um, I've made some videos talking about the reprint. A lot of people are saying, uh, now we're getting some info that it's possibly more of a restock and not a reprint. I'm going to, we're going to address all of that. Okay. So, but let's look at the chart real quick here on TCG player before we dive into it. Uh, as soon as that stuff kind of started to get announced, look what the booster bundles started to do. They were about to crack 50. They were just below $50 and now they're back. Now they're down to around 42. Um, we do see some sales over here still around 47 and 43. So booster bundles are on their way down. So what we do know for certain is that there is it's kind of i guess it's a restock uh coming of the booster bundles and for the distributors anyways long story short they they have to buy they're bundling it with some other stuff that less desirable product anyways the point is is check with your lgs um if you have one uh, or wait but lgs is you should be able to order through them and I know that they were taking orders. I know that in the UK, there was like a, it was just widely available order booster bundles, right? So you're going to get those at MSRP. So um, if you can get booster bundles at or below MSRP, that would be the way to go. And I would lean English. Um, we also have the booster bundle display here, which is on a slight down tick as well, uh, a lot more expensive, but I have said in the past, and I stand by that I think the booster bundle moving forward long term, I'm talking years down the road, the booster bundles will be the equivalent to the booster boxes, the booster bundle displays, sorry, specifically. Um, 
that's that's just we have no data to back that up this is a new product but for the specialty sets i think that these are going to be the gold mine i stand by that um so with these coming out with this restock let's say for the argument the point of this video let's say that it is all we are getting this year is a restock of booster bundles okay if you can get these anywhere near msrp i think they are a very good buy and i would not hesitate to get some but the question here well we'll, we'll touch back to the reprint thing okay let's um put our thinking caps on just for a second and look at this uh logically and let's say that uh we were wrong and there is no reprint coming uh this calendar year i think it would be absolutely crazy to think that english 151 will not get a reprint i would bet a lot of money that we will get if, if it's not coming this year which is fine we get a restock this year that we will how i don't see a world in which we do not get a reprint next year um that is unfortunate if that it ends up being the case because uh it just delays things and i i thought that this holiday season it would line up really well um that still doesn't mean that it can't happen honestly um but pokemon's having some supply issues anyways we, we don't need to dive too deeply into that so if the u.s is now heading into a recession and 151 is a hot selling set and why would why would the pokemon company who's in the business of making money when these prices are well above msrp why would they not reprint 151 okay so i it will happen i stand by that i would die on that hill it will happen i it may just not be in the time frame that we want or expect but either way we'll look at the reality of we'll just say a restock so the question bringing it back is japanese or english and i'm saying booster bundles to booster boxes my advice would be exactly what i'm doing so currently i have more japanese booster boxes than english um, booster bundles and that is just because the price was too high on the booster bundles and once the japanese all the reprints happen and the prices you know i more loaded up on japanese and i would advise you to get both that would be uh diversify a little bit for several reasons well one it's it's fun the japanese boxes are fun to open okay and that that is uh that will always be true i think that the english will have a little bit more value long term and the japanese will take a lot longer to recover just because of how much has been printed and everything traditionally japanese boxes don't really hold uh, as much value compared to english booster boxes but we're not talking about english booster boxes in this example so what i'm trying to end up being is somewhere around 60 percent 60 to 70 percent english and 30 to 40 percent japanese if that makes sense now i'm currently kind of on the opposite end of that spectrum for what i have and I'm definitely way higher, uh, 70, probably 70%, 70 to 80% Japanese currently, but that's because I'm waiting for the prices to come down. So that is just my approach. Um, you guys don't have to follow my approach, but I, I like to tell you, I don't want to give you advice that I wouldn't personally take. So um, I am waiting and, uh, you know, if the restock is plentiful and the prices are good, I will be getting... 151 uh, booster bundles, preferably booster bundle displays at or below MSRP. And that's what I will be doing. And if not, if it doesn't come down to that price and I'm not able to, I will wait for the reprint. That I be I do truly believe uh, without a shadow of a doubt that a reprint will be here at some point. It just only makes sense. So um, that is the issue of... Uh, at hand with the reprint I, I always try to admit uh if i was a little bit wrong may have slightly jumped the gun um it's kind of the like i may have been early but i'm not wrong like i may <laughs> i may have been way early possibly um but um yeah so that 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 is where we are at um so i would aim for more english than japanese but currently i'm more japanese than english if you're looking to spend your money now Currently, I would go Japanese. 
if you need to spend if you need to buy stuff like right now you saw the prices um, I think that in the $60 range for Japanese booster boxes, you are looking really good for long term. I'm talking years down the road. Also, keep in mind that the Pokemon company has proven with Japanese that they're not afraid to reprint, even way more than English, obviously. And they've printed they've printed the crap out of 151, and they could they could print the crap out of 151 more. So um, just keep that in mind as well. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I think that kind of sums it up. Um, it was a great question. I just kind of wanted to address English versus Japanese. Traditionally, English uh, outperforms. It was only kind of in COVID where Japanese was popping off because of the uh, English product wasn't available and yada, yada, yada. So um, that's kind of the split I'm looking at for 151. I do think that 151 overall is a very special set. I think it's very popular. It brought tons of collectors in, I think, if I had to guess, and I don't have any information to back this up, but if I had to guess, English 151 is going to be like the highest master setted set possibly ever uh, because there's so many new collectors, new and old, coming back into the hobby with 151, and they're going to master set it. I just, it just seems like it's going to be so popular. Well, it already is. It already is so popular. That you can say, but I just mean as far as uh, long term master setting, long term. Just this is in my this all these cards this master set is in my collection and it's never coming out. Um, that's my approach. I'm still working on my master set, right? But I ain't selling that master set. Like I don't really care what the price even gets to. Um, not that it's gonna go insane, but I just mean if the price is like ran up a lot, I'd just be like, I, I it's my master set that I'm keeping. So um, that's my mindset. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what is your mindset with 151? What is your breakdown between English and Japanese? Are you full English, full Japanese? Are you mixed like me? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I do apologize if I was rambling a little bit. I felt like I got a, it was fairly straightforward, but I started getting off um, topic a little bit at the end. But um, I do want to uh, just give a quick thanks to everybody who watches and supports the channel. Um, you guys have been great. I I read every comment, um, well, every comment that I can see, sometimes they get lost, but most every comment I'm reading, I try to reply to like everything that I can, um, but just the support that I've been getting lately, I just greatly appreciate it, so you guys are awesome. Um, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and thumbs up and then let me know uh, in the comments what you guys think, so uh, that's going to do it for this one guys, uh, Japanese versus English, let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.